Niza Zulu is a second year engineering student at Information and Communication University. She has a passion for aquaculture. She is the co-founder of a youth-led startup, BioGreen Agrotechnology, which aims to tackle climate change and challenges within communities. The increase in fish deaths inspired Niza to create a management system to help small-scale farmers better manage their ponds. So one of the reasons why they were experiencing high mortality is because they didn't have the necessary and proper uh, training to know how exactly you can take care of fish. Most fish farmers in our country are currently using traditional methods to monitor their water quality. So you notice, for example, dissolved oxygen in water is very important. So what local fish farmers do is they look at how many times the fish come up to gasp for air. Then they'll know, OK, we need to turn on our aerators or we need to um, pump in more water in our fish ponds for them to actually have the necessary dissolved oxygen levels. The Febby Smart system is made from locally sourced materials. After placing the boat-shaped device in the water, it sends a reading to the Febby application, which can be accessed on a phone or laptop. A system like this can change how ponds are managed and increase the chances of high yields. Farmers will be able to determine the correct oxygen levels, pond pH, KH and phosphate levels. Small scale farmers like the Chituo family have an average fish population of 2,000 to 4,000 and are looking for ways to increase their capacity. There are a lot of countries where they need a lot of fish, but they are not able to have it. According to the government, Zambia spends almost $170 million on imports each year and has a 70,000 metric ton deficit. At least Zambia holds about 40% of the water resources in the, in the Sadiq region because uh, Zambia can produce maybe up to 2 million, 3 million uh, tons, maybe up even up to 10 million uh, tons per year. And we should do strive to replace the copper earnings with aquaculture production. At least 5,000 fish farmers across Zambia are expected to benefit from NISA's invention. Others from Kenya and South Africa have shown their interest.